Hey there, welcome back. So in this lesson, I'm finally going to show you how to build your border motif. Uh, yay! <laughs> so uh, after you've done your research for your inspiration and everything, you can get your little cards. I decided to go with these uh, smaller ones because it's uh, um, it's easier to show you, it's quicker. But if you want more details, you can uh, use the bigger uh, squares and of course the bigger the space you have to uh, draw the more details you can add and this is pretty simple but you can have uh, more branches you can have flowers so if you want a, a bigger space uh, then these 15 centimeters ones um, uh, are uh, quite good but at the moment i'm going to show you this and uh, I've, I've done this already but i'll show you how i do this uh, and to remind myself um, which ones go together because then I'm going to have more of these um, uh, squares sometimes I just put a little uh, symbol so I know which ones are matching and you don't have to do that but if it might help and uh, so I'm just going to show you what I do so when you start drawing the important thing to do with this type of work is to start from the middle and don't work uh, up to the sides um, straight away. So if you watched my other class uh, about making the repeat tile by hand, you will know uh, this already. So you always start from the center and then you do the sides afterwards when you already have two of these together and you see where this sort of is going and this is going and you can join them so that you will have a seamless repeat. So when you move them, they will uh, match up and you have another square that will match up. Okay, I hope this is making sense for you. <laughs> so I'm just going to show you how to do this. Uh, normally I would just start sort of drawing, as I said, from, from the middle and, uh, and go on. But I prepared the design already, so it's uh, it makes it uh, quicker and uh, easier <laughs> to do this. And uh, I might just uh, speed up a little bit the drawing process. Okay, so when you get to this point, let's say you don't have your design, you're just uh, drawing here. So when you get to this point where you are quite close to the sides, maybe this is even too close, uh, but maybe you can get up to sort of around here. Then you take your other um, post-it or better piece of paper and you copy this. So you make it uh, another copy exactly the same and uh, so I will again speed up this all right so you have two copies now and of course these are still not matched but what you can do is um, do something like here you at this point you can join them like this and you know that these will match and then you swap them and you do the same thing on the other side you match them across and then you can add another leaf here for example I just make sure that if you add something here so I'm just going to do this new one so instead of copying that one so let's say you adding another leaf here don't forget to add it here as well so you copy everything um, exactly the same
and if you add something on the other side you, you do the same thing so you match them perfectly and then let's say you add something here as well uh, this is a, a bit uh, wonky but this is just to show you okay so you copy from here to here so you have the tiles which are exactly the same okay and then when you are happy with your design you can just uh, transfer only one of these because these are exactly the same and this is your your repeat tile basically so what you can do at this point once you let's say i'm happy with this uh, you can uh, take one of your uh, pens let's see this one for example and you can uh, um, retrace it with the, with the ink so you can just simply image trace this so you need to have nice strong black lines and uh, just try to be a bit more precise than i'm being at the moment uh, but this is just to show you so you will uh, retrace the whole thing and make it nice and dark and then get rid of your um, uh, pencil lines just make sure this is completely dry otherwise you get smudges or if you want you can do you can make this bigger or you can use uh, a bigger square to start with and you can paint or you can color this with color pencil or different type of colors gouache is quite good as well and uh, once you have this um, ready you can transfer it on your favorite program, Illustrator, Photoshop, whichever you like. I'm going to show you how to do this with uh, Adobe Illustrator uh, because it seems like uh, the program that most people use. And in the next uh, lesson, I'm going to show you how to add a corner. So I have one here and you just uh, basically design your, your corners and i think it's uh, like that they will match anyway and so you can have a repeat that has uh, like a, a border repeat that has corners so if you add another one here you can make it as long as you like and then in the corners you can add these and then you add your repeat i think it's from there so, and you have it, you repeat on the sides as well, and you do the same thing uh, on the other side, and you can have a, uh, a cross uh, border, for example. So I'll show you how to make the corners as well. Okay, I'll see you in the next lesson.